Well, good day everybody, welcome to today's video. This has been a video that's been requested a few times over the past little while, and we're gonna talk about it today. And we're gonna talk about 12 volt fridges, freezers. Before we get too involved, if you guys have any requests that you guys wanna see on this channel, now is the time to put it down. This is the first video request that people have been asking for. I've had requests on the power probe I'm gonna be working on. So if you want to see anything done, now's your time to do it. Before we get started, I just want to say as a disclaimer, this Calm Do was given to me last year to do a video review on. The new air fridge freezer combo was given to me earlier this year to demo and try out my Jeep and the Dometic I had purchased probably about four years ago now. So what you see right here is three styles of fridge freezers that I have been running except for the new air one for longer than a year and in my opinion as everything in this video will be my opinion and my opinion only starting from an entry level price point cheap we got the calm do then the next as in price point goes we got the new air which is the fridge freezer combo and then for a high-end top quality model we have the Dometic fridge freezer well it can either be one or the other it can't be both not in this style anyways whereas the new air you can have one compartment fridge other compartment freezer both freezer both fridge and the calm do of course can either do fridge or freezer so now let's get started and talk about the different models. First one we're gonna look at and talk about is the Calm Do. This is the one that was given to me last year and I put a lot of use on this one on four x four wheeling adventure trips. This one came in especially handy before I had my JK and I was wheeling in my TJ, which I still have. And what's great about this cooler is the fact that it's so small. If you guys own a GTJ, you guys know space is very limited. And once you have it piled up with all your gear, it, everything just gets tight so quick. And as you can see right here, it's a little bit dirty, but the cooler itself is pretty deep. Got like a little shelf right there. Works absolutely perfect. I used it all last summer, no issues at all. Really good on power. I can let it run all night in my vehicle, actually greater portion of the day actually I can let it run, don't have to worry about my battery dying at all, really efficient on power. The only thing I found a cheaper model cooler is that the insulation isn't all that great. So the problem is you're going to suffer when it's hot outside is that if you want your cooler to be about 4 degrees Celsius. I set it around zero when it's hot out and then that way my food will be maintained about that temperature about plus four it'll cool down to zero and then it'll start heating up and then it'll cool down again but the cooler itself does not cycle a lot which is really good and this is a compressor style cooler it's not one of those thermoelectric ones all these coolers in this video are a compressor style so this one here probably has four or five hundred hours on it at least and it works flawlessly and I'm going to continue to use this one in my TJ until it dies. I really like it. It's lightweight. Like I said, it's small. In the TJ you need something small. All your, all your functions are at the front and I'll leave a link in the description for an actual unboxing and use of the cooler so you can see all the functions work but very basic power plus minus temperature control and that takes care of the calm do cooler no real issues with it if you're looking at buying a cooler and you don't have the funds this one here retails if you can still purchase it for under $400 and it works really well. Next one we're looking at is this massive fridge freezer combo by New Air. 
This is, in my opinion, a medium grade cooler freezer. Price point is about six, seven hundred dollars. And if you want to have ice cream out on the road and still cool stuff, the price point on this is absolutely great. One of the things I like about it, but will never use my setup because it just sits permanently in my vehicle, is the fact that it has wheels and it has the handle in the front that can slide out. So if you're taking it somewhere, you can just drag it along the ground instead of carrying it. And when I first got it, I was kind of confused what this was for, but somebody said that you can buy a battery that'll temporarily run the cooler if you're having a picnic. And these drawers, or compartments I should say, are actually, this one here is a little bit smaller because the compressor sits at the rear, but this one here, as you can see, is way deeper and this is where I put all my cooler goods, beer, food. I've had it out a few times and put some ice cream in it which keeps it cool or frozen while you're out there. It works really well. The downside that I found with this cooler and its massive size is battery power. If you're getting ready to head out, it is best to cool this off AC first and then plug it into your cigarette lighter when you're ready to head out this. If you're using the freezer part, what I found, minus 14 in the freezer, minus 15 in the freezer, and like four degrees in the cooler, it drains a lot of battery. And just to give an example, that's my EcoFlow Delta in a better part of a day and a night and the next day we'll just say one day that cooler drained 40 percent power from my ecoflow delta so before i had this fridge freezer combo i had a 120 watt solar panel which i would hook up to my delta and it would keep up but now that i got this fridge freezer combo and the amount of power it uses i actually purchased a 220 watt solar blanket that I'm gonna test out with the Delta that hopefully when I'm out camping that it will keep up. This cooler I really like. My only downside is the amount of power that it consumes when you're running it. Maybe if I ran just the fridge it'd be different but the fridge freezer combo uses a lot of power. And I can't tell you how much power it'll use throughout the day and night if you just run it off your car battery because that is determined on your amp hours of your battery and everything else and also what your voltage cutoff selection is on the cooler that's why when I get out I just run it off the Delta but of course uh, most people are pretty trendy nowadays and if they're out parked somewhere they're gonna have their battery hooked up to solar which would still keep up pretty good but this one here has been great I haven't put a lot of hours on it I've had it out on two adventures and haven't had any issues so far I really like it all right the last cooler we're gonna talk about the best quality all around the one I trust the most in my opinion to never let me down is the Dometic like I said I bought this about four years ago probably could have been about five years ago price point at that time and probably still is today over $1,000 this thing is built beefy and built to last it has corner protection the insulation is also very thick and out of all three coolers this Dometic is probably the heaviest out of all three of them it is built like a tank you can see the compartment inside it does have that wire separator in the middle that works good for separating your drinks from your food One thing I found too is this Dometic is very efficient on power. I have a video where I ran it off of a jump starter for a matter of hours with no issues at all. And plus it keeps the temperature really well. If you set it at four degrees, it actually keeps the temperature. The insulation is that great. Plus you can also buy a blanket for it. If you do start suffering any issues, but in Canada, that's not the problem at all. This is your screen setup, pretty simple. 
And this thing's been amazing for me. I probably have 4,000 plus hours on this cooler running because not only have I used it on many of my adventures throughout the years, when I did my gold panning in my pickup truck, which this ran 24 seven. Also during the pandemic, I use it solely as a freezer for extra food when everybody was panicking and food buying. So for like two months, I ran it as a freezer only, no issues at all. Didn't skip a heartbeat. Now you guys are probably gonna ask, if this cooler is so good, why are you using the other two? And that answer is actually pretty simple. Like I said earlier in the video, the Calm Dew was given to me to do a video review on and test. The new wear was given to me as well. I purchased the Dometic with my own money. So it's in the best interest of my viewers to really utilize these ones when I'm out and about to make sure that they stand up to whatever I throw at them. And if any of them fail, then of course I have the Dometic as backup. But I really hope this cheaper one to come do doesn't fail because it is the perfect size for my Jeep TJ. Well, I'm gonna end my video here, so I hope you guys liked the video on my opinion on 12 volt compressor, fridge freezer, coolers, and my experiences and my thoughts of them. In case you're ever curious about buying a cheaper one versus a high end one, there's also a middle class one. I've had good luck with all of them so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.